Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Zero Foxtrot. I used to make videos on the internet that you might remember, such as the Royal Military Police, the world's most hated regiment, or the RAF regiment, but in special, in special forces. Hello, I'm Troy McClure. You may remember me from such movies as Cry Yuma and Here Comes the Coast Guard. But I'm not actually here to talk about that for now. I'm here to talk about something useful for once. And it's the joining process for the Royal Marines in 2021 to 2022 and how it's differed amongst the ages. Now, historically, you do a... Uh, actually, wait a sec. Do me a favour. Just smash that like button and subscribe if you could. That would help me out a ton. For those who don't know, the Corps of the Royal Marines is an amphibious light infantry and also one of the five fighting arms of the Royal Navy. The Marines can trace their origins back to the formation of the English Army's Duke of York and Albany's Maritime Regiment of Foot at the grounds of the Honourable Artillery Company on the 28th of October 1664. As a highly specialised and adaptable elite infantry force, the Royal Marines are trained for rapid deployment worldwide and capable of dealing with a wide range of threats. The Royal Marines are organised into a light infantry brigade, three commando brigade and a number of separate units, including 4-7 commando, raiding group, Royal Marines, and a company strength commitment to the special forces support group. The Corps operates in all environments and climates, though particular expertise and training is spent on amphibious warfare, arctic warfare, mountain warfare, expeditionary warfare and is committed to the UK's Rapid Reaction Force. Don't forget guys, real quick, before this video continues, if you want a shout out in the next video, just put hashtag PRMC down below in the comment section and you get a shout out in my next video. The Royal Marines have been utilized for a very long time and their standards are extremely high. So to join them, you're going to need to accomplish the following steps. And I'm gonna break it down as easy as possible and in the best way I can, so it's so simple, but understandable at the same time but one of these elite fighting forces such as the Royal Marines standards are high so first of all you're gonna to have to meet some requirements now the first requirement is being appropriately aged between the age of 16 and 32 the second being the naval service recruitment test will be tested on verbal reasoning verbal ability numeracy and mechanical comprehension the third requirement which you must undertake is a formal interview. This is to talk through your suitability for the role. This may include what motivates you to become a Royal Marines Commando and understanding their implementation within the British Armed Forces. At this point you should treat this as any other civilian interview. This is much like any other interview so you should prepare accordingly including asking your careers advisor for help if you need it. The interview is scheduled to last for about 45 minutes and will be conducted and directed by your careers advisor. This will also include talking about your education, family and work experience. Now the fourth stage, before you can join, you'll have to pass the Royal Marines pre-joining fitness test, which involves completing two 2.4 km runs on a treadmill that is set to a 2% incline. The first run must be completed in less than 12 minutes and 30 seconds. You will then have one minute break before completing the second run in under 10 minutes and 30 seconds. This time is the absolute minimum requirement and the expectation is that you will record the best time possible. And the final requirement for you to join the Royal Marines is the Potential Royal Marines course or PRMC. This is your introduction to life in the Royal Marines and indicates your potential to begin Royal Marines basic training. Over the course of four days, you'll complete a number of physical tests in a range of challenging environments and learn all about our ethos. Train efficiently and keep a positive state of mind and you'll stand a good chance of passing. Once you've completed the PRMC successfully, you must stay in peak physical condition as basic training is also extremely demanded. To do so, you can also follow the Royal Marines Fitness Program, which is available on the Royal Navy website. Right guys, so this is the first time I've done a video like this in a very long time. If you like it, do me a favour and hit the like button and smash subscribe. If you want more like this, simply comment down below and tell me what else I should do. Maybe the parachute regiment or the RAF regiment joining process, but let me know down below and I'll do another one like this. I'm trying to up the quality, so if you can indicate that you like it and it's much better, smash that like button so I know. Thank you very much guys, take care.